Setting foot on Mars has been one of the greatest discoveries in human history. Of course, no human has set foot on the Red Planet to date. However, thanks to robotic vehicles sent to explore Mars more closely, we are gaining significant insights. Some of the most crucial of these discoveries date back to 2021. At this time, the Perseverance rover and Ingenuity helicopter started their journey on Mars, stepping on the red soil for the first time. Perseverance is exploring the geological structures, climate, and other environmental conditions on the surface, while also searching for signs of past life. This complex mission has various goals, from searching for evidence of ancient microbial life on Mars, to determining Mars's geological history, and even paving the way for future human missions. On the other hand, the Ingenuity helicopter was designed to test whether flight is possible in the Martian atmosphere. Flying in Mars's atmosphere, which is significantly thinner than Earth's, brings many technical challenges. However, Ingenuity managed to overcome these challenges and made history by successfully flying in the Martian atmosphere. These two vehicles represent NASA's latest technological advances in searching for signs of life on Mars. Never before has the planet been examined in such detail. Each photograph and data collected illuminate a bit more of Mars's mysterious world. And perhaps most importantly, these missions assist us in our search for answers to whether life exists on Mars. An essential part of NASA's Mars exploration program is the InSight spacecraft. InSight was designed to explore the depths and internal structure of the Red Planet. Based on data sent by the spacecraft in recent years, a series of earthquakes were detected on Mars for the first time. These earthquakes are more potent and frequent than we thought. Some of them vary between 3.0 and 4.0 on the Richter scale. This indicates that Mars's crust is active and releases its energy through earthquakes. In 2019, InSight recorded over 450 seismic events on Mars. One of these earthquakes was an event measured at 3.7 that occurred on May 22, 2019. This became the most significant earthquake recorded on Mars and provided essential information about the planet's internal structure. On the one hand, these earthquakes have the potential to awaken dormant Mars volcanoes. It is believed that these volcanoes shaped the Mars surface in the past and perhaps triggered a warm and wet period. This past volcanic activity may have helped bring water and other vital elements to the surface, potentially creating conditions that could have supported life on Mars at one time. One of the most notable examples is Olympus Mons. This mountain is the largest volcano on Mars and even in the entire solar system. This massive volcano, with a height of 13 miles and a width of 375 miles, is almost three times larger than Mauna Loa, the largest volcano on Earth. Recent scientific research suggests that Olympus Mons is still in a sleeping state and could be reactivated by a Mars earthquake. Another potential dormant volcano is Albertholis, located in the Tharsis region and meaning Martyr's Mountain. It is believed that this volcano erupted for the last time about 30 million years ago, but this is a relatively short time compared to the planet's 4.6 billion year history. A series of strong earthquakes could awaken Albertholis and potentially lead to an eruption. These possibilities once again highlight the importance of seismic exploration of Mars's depths and internal structure. Predicting when these dormant giants might awaken could be critical in understanding both past life forms and potential future life conditions. However, most importantly, these seismic activities provide clues about the presence and distribution of water and other essential life elements on the planet. The presence and distribution of water on Mars can be determined by following the traces of these seismic movements. Additionally, it is thought that these earthquakes may reveal potential underground water reservoirs that could form beneath Mars's crust. One of the most concrete pieces of evidence for traces of life on Mars is the subject of methane gas. The presence of methane gas on Mars is an exciting finding for scientists and increases the possibility of life because methane is produced on Earth, particularly as a result of biological processes. So, how and where does the methane gas on Mars come from? Measurements made by NASA's Mars Exploration Rover. Curiosity in 2013 and 2014 revealed the presence of methane gas in the Mars atmosphere. However, the existence of methane does not necessarily mean there is life. Methane can also be produced as a result of geological processes. Therefore, determining what the source of methane on Mars is of great importance to scientists. The amount of methane gas found on Mars varies seasonally. 
This could be a hint that methane is being produced as a result of biological processes. However, it is also thought that methane could vary seasonally with geological processes. Yes, its source has not been definitively determined yet. However, this finding gives hope for the possibility of microbial life in the Red Planet's past. The discovery of methane gas on Mars has given us hope that there could be life on this Red Planet. Let's now move on to a stronger piece of evidence, organic molecules discovered on Mars. The presence of organic molecules on Mars could indicate the chemical foundations of life. NASA's Curiosity rover has detected various organic molecules on the surface of Mars. These contain elements such as carbon and hydrogen, which are necessary for the formation of life. The organic molecules found by Curiosity were detected in a 3 billion year old lake bed in Mars Gale Crater. The molecules found here are the molecules that play a significant role in the formation of life and are referred to as the building blocks of life. However, determining how and when these molecules formed is quite difficult. The discovered organic molecules show that Mars might have hosted an environment conducive to life in the past. However, they do not prove definitively that life existed. Instead, they show that Mars had the necessary chemical components for life. While the findings of organic molecules provide ambiguous clues about the existence of life on Mars, the appearance and disappearance of salty water flows on the surface of Mars may be a significant clue for life. This is called recurring slope lineae, or RSL for short, and it is also considered as a potential sign of life. The high-resolution imaging science experiment of NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter detected dark lines that form and change seasonally on the surface and slopes of Mars. These generally form when the surface is heated and disappear during colder periods. These RSLs could be locations where subsurface liquid water emerges and evaporates. However, these water flows must be salty because Mars' low atmospheric pressure causes pure water to evaporate and freeze rapidly. These salty water flows suggest that microbial life could exist on Mars because some microorganisms on Earth can survive in environments where salty water is limited. However, more scientific data is needed to determine exactly what these RSLs are. Indeed, there is another potential habitat for life in the depths of Mars, the lakes located beneath Mars. In 2018, data collected by the European Space Agency's Mars Express satellite revealed the existence of a large underground lake beneath a one-mile-thick layer of ice at Mars's South Pole. Since liquid water is a vital requirement for all known forms of life, this water could have once supported life on or beneath Mars's surface. Considering Mars's low temperatures and thin atmosphere, the water in this lake must be salty or possibly mixed with other components in order to remain in liquid form under normal conditions. On Earth, there are microorganisms that survive in extremely salty environments. Therefore, salty water on Mars could be a habitat that supports similar life forms. However, there is still a question that needs to be clarified. Does this salty water have the sweetness level necessary to support life? That is, has the salt level exceeded the minimum water quality necessary for life? This is still an unknown issue. In short, more information is needed about the nature and chemical composition of this underground water. Nevertheless, the discovery of these lakes increases hopes for the possibility of life on Mars. The mysterious lakes found beneath Mars indeed carry possibilities similar to deep-sea life on Earth. However, the surface of Mars itself also contains strong clues to the presence of water in the past. One of the best examples demonstrating this are the ancient riverbeds found on Mars. NASA's Mars Exploration rovers have discovered rock beds and pebbles that display distinct traces of past flowing water. In particular, the Gale Crater, which has been studied by the Curiosity rover since its landing in 2012, presents evidence suggesting that it was once filled with liquid water. The shapes of riverbeds, pebbles, and rocks eroded by water indicate that this area was once filled with water and could potentially have provided conditions that could support microbial life. However, how long did this water persist, and was this duration sufficient for the development of life? While the answers to these questions remain uncertain, these riverbeds on the surface of Mars definitely show that water existed in the planet's past, and conditions potentially supportive of life could have been formed. This is a critical finding in understanding Mars's past and potential life. The water traces found in Mars' ancient riverbeds suggest that there was an environment that could support life on the planet in the past, while Gale Crater and Mount Sharp provide us with more clues. 
This area holds significant information about Mars's past climate changes, and perhaps it is the place that provides us with the most information in understanding the habitability potential of the Red Planet. Gale Crater is a bowl-shaped formation that was once filled with water and forms the base of Mount Sharp. The data collected by the rovers here indicate that the crater has filled and emptied, possibly due to climate changes, multiple times. Mount Sharp rises in the middle of Gale Crater, and the layers of this mountain allow us to read Mars' geological and climate history. These layers carry traces of a series of climate changes, indicating that Mars has experienced a series of different climate conditions over time and may have supported microbial life. In conjunction with the information obtained from Gale Crater and Mount Sharp, there is strong evidence that Mars's past climates could have been temperate enough to support life. However, for understanding Mars's habitable past, we turn to another area, Jezero Crater. This ancient lake bed is a promising region as we search for evidence of life on Mars. Jezero Crater is an ancient delta believed to have once been a lake and probably submerged underwater. NASA has specifically sent the Perseverance rover to this area for the Mars 2020 mission because this environment contains minerals and geological formations that are likely to preserve potential traces of life. It's possible that Jezero Crater, being an ancient lake bed, may have supported water-based life forms in the past. Scientists hope that the samples collected by Perseverance in Jezero could contain biological markers that could prove the existence of life on Mars billions of years ago. Furthermore, Jezero's geological structure can also provide information about Mars's ancient climate. Delta formations can help us understand the movement of water and how the once existent lake was formed and eventually dried out. Certain minerals found on the surface of the red planet can be evidence of water and perhaps life. In particular, hematite, a mineral found in various regions of Mars, stands out in this regard. Hematite is generally a mineral that indicates the presence of water, and formations of hematite on Mars suggest that liquid water was once present and hosted potential biological activity. On Mars, hematite is typically found in the form of spherical berries or blueberries, indicating the presence of long-term water beneath the planet's surface. Hematite beads found by NASA's Opportunity rover in 2004 at Meridiani Planum on Mars are one of the most striking findings, suggesting that there was once surface water on Mars, which could have created an environment conducive to life. As a mineral, hematite not only implies the presence of water, but also carries clues about the presence of microbial life. On Earth, the mineral hematite sometimes forms as a result of bacterial activity, which brings to mind the idea that the hematite formations on Mars could have a biological source. While we continue to examine traces of life in hematite, there is another mystery in the polar regions of the planet that has not yet been fully deciphered. As a result of a possible global warming on Mars, the melting and return of the red planet's polar glaciers to water can increase the chances of life. The poles of the red planet host large amounts of water ice, which could form an environment where microbial life forms could exist. The polar glaciers on Mars show similarities to those on Earth. However, Mars's cold and thin atmosphere makes it difficult for water to remain in liquid form. Yet, it is thought that water could remain liquid under certain conditions, especially below the surface. Scientists know about microorganisms that live in extremely cold and frozen regions on Earth, our polar regions. These microorganisms could find a similar environment beneath the polar glaciers of Mars. Also, the water found under the glaciers is a valuable source of information for understanding the climate history of Mars. Research on these potential signs of life and water sources found in the poles of Mars reveals not only the possibility of life on Mars, but also the potential for this life to spread from Mars to Earth, and even further, and meteorites found on Mars bring interesting questions about interplanetary life transfer. One notable aspect of this issue is meteorites that have fallen from Mars to Earth. These Martian meteorites show that life transfer from one planet to another is theoretically possible. This idea is known as the panspermia theory and suggests that simple life forms can survive for long periods in the vacuum of space. Consider a rock piece thrown from the surface of Mars as a result of a collision containing microbial life forms and this rock piece fell to Earth. In this case, Martian bacteria could theoretically create a new form of life on Earth. But is this really possible? The answer is not certain yet, but certain evidence found in Mars meteorites shows that this idea is not entirely absurd. 
For instance, the ALH 84001 meteorite, known to have come from Mars and found in Antarctica in 1984, contained shapes that could carry traces of fossilized microbial life. This finding caused great debates in the scientific community, and still no definitive conclusion has been reached. This possibility could greatly change our understanding of the past and future of Mars. If we can find more concrete evidence of life on Mars, this could indicate that interplanetary life transfer is not just a theoretical possibility, but could also be a real past event. And maybe we are the distant descendants of microbes that came from past life on Mars and made a new start on Earth. Even this thought indicates that we need to think more about our origins and the vastness of the universe. And so we've come to the end of our search for traces of life on Mars. You can subscribe to our channel to learn more about these topics and stay informed about the latest discoveries. Remember, there is no end to science, and every new finding is an opportunity to learn more about the universe. See you next time.